Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. So this is a series of video on functions topic and a second video in number functions. And in today's video, we are going to talk about some, you know, a very uh, functions called as sine, square root, power, min and max. So without wasting much time, let us get started. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So let me create a calculated field and I'm going to write it as number function and it's day two for us. So like I said yesterday, whenever we are working with numeric data and we want to, you know, uh, customize it or change it according to our need or the requirement, then we use number functions. And one among them that we didn't discuss yesterday are square root and square functions. Again, these are pair functions that I would like to talk about. So I'm taking them together. Square root, like we know, you know, that we have all studied during our schooling days, you know, the square root of four is two, square root of 16 is the number that is multiple by itself will give us the square root and half of that is a square root. If I take this and I just want to convert this into a dimension because I don't want that to aggregate, and I'm just simply removing this and I'm dropping it here. Square root of four is two. Square root of 16 is four. Okay, so this is square root and the opposite of this is suppose if at all you want any number to multiply with, with itself by two times, that is a square. Okay, so like say four square. 4 into 4 is 16, like that. So 5 into 5 is 25, like that. So it will multiply the given number two times. That is a square here, okay? Likewise, if at all you don't want to just multiply two times, but you want to have flexibility so that you can multiply a number of time, then comes our third function called as power function. So it is power and not power just to you know, correct you all p o w e r it is and not it is p a w a r okay so like say power now if you see here if i put my cursor it is suggesting me the syntax that it it is expecting first is number so i'm writing five followed by comma now it is asking how many times is the power so if i write five comma two which means five into five so it will multiply the given number two times it is five square if i write three it will multiply five into five into five three times it is 125 likewise if i take six cube or six power three six into six 36 into six 216 Okay, so likewise it works so if into four, it is one, two, nine, six. Okay, so six into six into six into six, like that. So that is power function. Okay, so next is uh, another important functions which gives us this sign of the number. So generally in our data, we might have positive numbers and we might have negative numbers. Both are possible cases where you want to find out what is the sign of that number. Then we can use this function called as SIGN. Okay. So remember there is a difference between say SIG and, and SIN. Both are different functions. SIN, we'll talk about it later. But SIGN will give you sign of the number. Like say, if it is positive, you will get one number. And if it is negative, you'll get zero. Let us see that. So I'm taking sign of uh, two. Okay, so sign, just two is a number. So it is a positive number for us, right? So let us see what will be the result. It is plus one. Okay, so if I take minus two, it is minus one. So when it is, if you are having a positive number, it will give you a plus one. And if you are having a negative number, it will give you minus one. Okay, so let us see what will happen if I give zero here. So three cases we should know. Zero means zero. So there are three possible cases for this. In terms of positive, it will return positive or plus one. In terms of negative, it will return minus one. And when it is zero, it will return zero. Okay, so likewise, let us take a subcategory and let us see what is happening when I take 
it with respect to my profit here and I'm dropping it. So we have uh, both positive and negative numbers here just for our use case. See, we have three negative profits here. Like say supplies is minus 1100, bookcases is minus 3400, table supplies is minus 17,000. Now with this sign, let us see what is it returning. I'm taking some of profit and I'm closing it. And uh, if I take the same thing onto my this shelf and I'm dropping it here, you see wherever it is positive, it is giving plus one. Okay, till here it is plus, but observe the last two supplies is minus 1100. So it is giving us a minus one bookcases is minus 3400 change. So it is giving minus one. Okay, so that is how this sign function works. Okay, so next is sometimes you might also have to work on angles or uh, suppose you want to work with angles and you know uh, derive a custom charts then in that kind of cases we have some trigonometric functions that we can use to derive angles so they are you know uh, cos tan so if you see here cos sin tan tan to cos cot these are all trigonometric functions that are available in Tableau. Okay, so remember this point, very uh, rarely used, but still, yes, you know, they are available in Tableau to create advanced charts on Tableau. So actually, this is the space that we have in Tableau to create charts, the, the entire thing that you're seeing. If at all you want to customize your layout so that you can use this space that is there available effectively, then you can use this uh trigonometric functions to derive the angles and plot them accordingly okay so that is uh, about trigonometric functions and uh, then we have min and max that we have seen the difference when it is with respect to a dimension and with respect to a measure like say min of if i write 3 comma 5 then it will give me the minimum value that is there in between these two Okay, so I'm just removing this and I'm also removing this for now, this also, and I'm just taking this. Okay, so minimum of three comma five is three. If I write maximum, the max of three comma five is five. That way it works here. Okay, so we also have one of the common operators that we have used you know, during our learning phases, that is pi. So pi is also available in Tableau. So pi will return us the standard value of pi, that is 3.14, see here. Now, if at all, I want to round this off to two decimal places or three decimal places. Simply, I can do it using round function. Okay, I'm opening the bracket and I just want to round it off to two decimal places. Now, what are we doing here? The result of pi, we are rounding it off to two decimal places. Okay. Into 100, if at all I want to do, simply into 100, I can write. Divided by, if at all I want to divide something, I can do it by 100 or by 10. Or if I do it by 100, I'll get the same value like this I can do okay or I want to divide you can simply use division function division of this comma 2 I want to do okay so it is okay maybe because we have floating value it is giving error you see division is being called with the float comma integer do you mean integer so it is expecting integer so again i can use conversion function like integer to convert this into integer so i'm just converting the entire thing into int and this fixes it that way also i can do so we have two conversion functions here one is integer and the other one is str, so which will convert your resultant set into 
integer, int, string, str, like that. So based on how you want to use, you can use it. Okay, so this is about number function. So I think that's it from my side in this video. I hope you find today's video useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day and bye-bye.